loves, I just got my Sephora box in the mail and I am so excited. This is going to be like first impressions. I love Gem and I'm so excited that they finally came, they're coming out with a new movie and because of that all of these collaborations with different companies are coming out and so Sephora made a gem palette. It's an eyeshadow palette which I am like a complete sucker for eyeshadow palettes as it is. I'm a makeup hoarder. It's my obsession, my collection, my love and I love gem so much so this was something that I was so beyond excited for. I flipped out when I heard about it and I had to order it the minute it became available and I'm still actually waiting for the um, they have a beautiful mirror compact that is in the Sephora collection as well that I cannot wait. I cannot wait till that becomes available so I can get my hands on it. Besides that, I want to show you, I just opened the package. I opened the box just so I didn't have to do it on camera and I didn't even look at the thing. I just literally have it right here and I'm going to look at it now and show you guys this makeup palette from Sephora for the gem collection. So... I'm a little shocked, I'm going to be honest, first impression, I'm a little shocked because I thought it was going to be bigger. How can I explain this to you? Let me, um, let me grab here, I I'm not complaining, I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm just going to grab the Too Faced Chocolate palette and I'm going to show you. It's, I don't know why I expected it to be, maybe be more of, let's see. I don't know, a little bit bigger. I wish, yeah, let me grab my Vice palette and show you compared to the Vice palette. So this is the Vice palette, which I kind of expected the size to be more like this for some reason. And this is the gem, the gem palette. So it's not, not huge like I thought it would be. And it's not that small either. You know, you know, I think everybody knows what size the chocolate Soleil is so it's actually maybe that'll be a good thing because maybe it'll be more convenient for traveling But first impression I thought it was going to be bigger, but this is what it looks like the Plastic it is in a little clear plastic. So let's open this sucker up and look inside It's all taped which is nice because if you get it in the store that way, you know, it's not played with I when things aren't fully sealed You just never know if anyone's dirty little hands have been touching it and I mean, I'm not a germaphobe, but when you buy something, you just don't want anybody's dirty little hands in it. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm trying to get this open. It's a pain in the tushy magush. Of course, it has to be. Let's see, can I get this? Wow, this thing is like really... Okay, got it. Sorry, got it. We're two minutes in here and I haven't even showed you. Okay, so plastic has all the little information, has the colors clear in the front. Okay, and this is, here we go, on the back, we have all the colors, which is nice. That's probably telling me they're not going to be inside on the thing. So it just flips open. That's so cute. That is so freaking 80s. I'm an 80s baby, so yes, this is, this is so 80s. They stay true. And this is all, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like glittery, but it doesn't come off at all. There's nothing coming off on my hands, which is nice. I hate that when that happens. So it's just pretty glittery. And it's not completely smooth, but it's not rough either. And let's open this up. Ooh. Okay, they're a little smaller than I thought too. Of course, that would make sense, right? So you could see my finger. And see the size of the shadow. Again, let me show you the Chocolate Soleil. The milk chocolate Too Faced. These are the... Sh so do you see the sizes? It's a little smaller than these. That just gives you an example of the size of these. But look how pretty. It does look pretty and this looks like something that would actually be nice for traveling. I don't see a lot of glitter which is nice. I see a couple glitter shadows. But most of them are looking like shimmer. And it's... Let's swatch. I'm going to swatch this one right here. Ooh, it's so buttery and soft. Okay, that feels nice. I'll swatch the next one next to it. Buttery and soft. And let's try a darker one. Buttery and soft. Oh my. Let's see if that I can get that to focus so you can you can see this. Let's see this. Come on. That is pigmented. Very pigmented. Wow. Okay. Wow. Not even, I don't even want to say they're powdery. They're not powdery. They're just very pigmented. It's 
soft. Mix those all up, but yeah, they're very, that looks really pretty, actually, okay. I am, um, yeah, so it opens up like that. We have a full-size mirror, hope this, okay, ah, full-size mirror here, and then all of these shadows. I'll just leave it there so you can get a little look. So this pink one looks super pretty. Let's see how the pink one, this bright pink one swatches. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. There's definitely color to this one. Let's see this purple one right here. Oh my goodness. So soft and so just, oh my goodness. Okay, first impressions. I am pretty damn impressed. We have a nice like blending matte shade here. A matte brown. Oh my goodness. Okay. Not chalky at all. Not chalky at all. Okay, if you want to see a swatch video on this, let me know. And any looks, let me know. Because I am, I cannot wait. Like these, these colors are so pretty. Like this coral one seemed a little bit chalk, almost a little bit powdery. But I think I just grabbed too much. I think I swatched it too hard. Look at the color. It's amazing. Like this is so pretty. So okay, first impressions, it was a little smaller than I thought. I did think it was going to be bigger. The shadows say 24, there's 24 shadows, and they are 0.52 grams a piece. So, but it would definitely be good for traveling. It's not going to take up a lot of space. If you're a collector like me and you kind of run out of space, that's also good. This is so freaking cool. I love the little gem star and all of the little details. I love that this is sparkly and not, doesn't come off, there's no glitter on the hands. I like that it has all of the colors over here. It would have been... It would have been nice to have the colors on here, but because it's small, it's probably hard, harder to do, but at least you do have all of the colors, the names, the names. So we have Minx, Raya, did I say that right? Wrong, probably. Clash, Hologram, Starlight, Rock and Roadster, Synergy, Cassette, oh my god, it's just so classic 80s. It's such a, if you're, a, if you're an 80s girl and you like gem, this thing is pretty awesome and the pigmentation is pretty, I'm, I'm more impressed than I thought it would be. So that was $39 at Sephora. They do have it available. It's definitely worth taking a look into. I think this is so awesome. I was really excited and I just cannot wait to see what more more gem stuff comes out from all the different brands so I hope this video was helpful if you're thinking about buying it or you wanted to just see it or first impressions I don't know my first impressions I'm, I'm very impressed I, I'm not even complaining about the size because sometimes these bigger palettes I don't even use sometimes because they are bigger and bulkier and you can't take them with you so yeah I mean you'll run out of colors if there's a color you really love but it's palettes are for palettes and if you really love the certain color you just get a single of it and use that with it that's the way I feel about that so I just yeah I'm loving it I'm so excited for this and I hope you guys liked it so I love you I hope everybody's doing well share your thoughts with me if you have any thoughts on this collection if you are an 80s girl or an 80s gal or boy whatever you are I cannot speak but if you were in, just into this let me know what you think about it lots of love see you later bye